Hello and welcome to Tech Computer Classes. In today's session, we are going to cover a Windows operating system. So, operating system is your interface between the software and an hardware. So, the front panel of the screen is called your desktop. So, this is your desktop. The right side is called your icons, programmable icons. Bottom of the gray bar is your taskbar. Now your desktop contains this wallpaper. This wallpaper can be changed. Okay. Your icons, programmable icons. Some of the icons are like file icon, programmable icon, folder icon. This is your folder icon. And so icons are also different different icons. Some are file icons, some are folder icons, some are programmable icons. So icons is nothing but a computer program. Okay. So this are the computer and it acts in your computer program. Kali is your computer program applications. So some of the applications are on your desktop. The bottom of the bar, as I told you, it is a taskbar. Taskbar also contains three things. There is a start menu. between there are some icons, programmable icons that is a quick launch icon and the last third part is your system tray where it contains your date and time and some startup icons. Startup icons means whenever the computer starts it comes onto your system tray that's why it is called your startup icon. For example sound land card, antiviruses, USB connection, graphics, all those drivers are there which get started when your window starts. So all those drivers are comes in system tray. So those are fixed. We can even change the date and time also. Step by step we'll clear everything. We'll learn this. How to change the wallpaper first of all. Now to change the wallpaper, keep mouse anywhere on this desktop, click right click, personalize, select any one option from this. As soon as you will click on architect, you will see that your wallpaper is changed. If you click on see the wallpaper. Can change the picture accordingly. If you want to change the colors of windows, the bottom is your classic icon. This is how you can change the color. So as you will click on those buttons, it will automatically change. Coming back to the original position screen, you will just click on Windows 7. This is your display property. This window is your display property. To change your desktop backgrounds. This is to change your desktop background, colors, sound. So followed. So this was called how to change the background. Now suppose for example if you want to change background as per your requirement. So you can click on desktop background. You can go click on browse you have to select the drive and select whether any photographs are there or not any images are there or not let me see check changed. Bottom you can see the picture position. The picture position can be one is fulfilled, one is fit. So this is fit. So let's click on fit. You will see if 
that your image fits on your desktop. Stretch your full screen. Time in. Suppose, for example, if I will select uh, this one, select this one, I'll select time. Time in it will fill with this all images. And if it is the center, you will see that one. These are the picture position how you want your image to be displayed on the desktop. Normally we select center. Again you want to go back to your screen, click here on the picture location, click on Windows desktop background to see the background coming onto the screen. Here you will find that all options of the images are selected. If you want to clear this, just click on clear. If you want to select all, you can select all and save. Now suppose if you want to change your desktop background, say after certain seconds you need a different type of background. Select all your change picture every 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute. So, this is the timing. I will say 10 seconds and shuffle. So, it will change the picture after every 10 seconds. Can you see? Okay. You want to remove this again? Click on desktop background, click on shuffle, and whichever window you require, default window, clear all, you want window, and see, change, you will come back to your original screen, so windows 7, desktop is, this is an original screen, so each window contains your minus means minimize minimize comes down again if you click here it will come back to the original position similarly in between there is a square button if you maximize full screen full size screen you will get in the same you will get square button is called your restore means coming back to the original position this is your restore this is your close button. As soon as you click here, your window is closed. So each and every window, like my computer, if I click, if I click the window contains minimize, maximize, close. So as soon as so there are two windows open right now. So the current window is your recycle window. So that is called your active window. If you want to go back side, click on back side. So now this is your my computer is your active window. So wherever direction you will click, click it will be your active window. You close. You can move the window from one place to another. Keep your mouse onto the title. So this is your title bar. Click here and you can move this. So click and drag. Click and drag. Now we will understand that we can resize the windows also. Resizing the window horizontal, vertical and proportion. How to resize the window? Keep your mouse on this vertical line, click and drag horizontally, sorry, horizontally and keep your mouse here at the bottom of the line of the window you can drag See, this is proportion the symbol is proportion from anywhere of the corner you can drag See. so 
to each and every window we have minimize maximize restore and close and even we can resize the window as per our requirement but most probably we maximize the window and we work on it and then whenever we need another window we will minimize it and open another window another so as many as windows the operator wants to open and we want to work we can work on it so windows operating system is very easy to operate and very friendly user okay so what we have learned is right now this changing is the desktop background let us understand the taskbar as i told you taskbar contains start menu start menu from you start all programs so all programs are installed on your pc this is your scroll box where you can scroll and you can see the icons and this are your folder icons programmable folder icons so this is a microsoft office which contains all your programs here related to the microsoft office if it is an java it is related to the java this is a scroll this is down scroll you have to just click here to remove that menu click outside in between this is a quick launch to open any icon just single click you will see that the window of the google chrome is open you can close here why it is called click quick launch because it opens in a single click that's why it is called as many as icon if you want to make a shortcut over here we can make a shortcut on to the quick launch on the taskbar so we can pin the icon over here now this is the last part is your system tray system tray which contains your date and time date and time can be changed just click here on date and time click on change date and time Here you will find date and time over here, and there is a button over here. Change date and time. Set the date and time. Date is given over here. Now here, as date and time both are correct. If you want say month, you just have to click on title. You will see the month of 2018. Further, if you will click here, you will see the year over here from 2010 to 2018. Whichever range is there for your year, you have to select. Like we are having in 2018 December, and the date is 22. Here we can change the timing. Like click onto that location, press the button to jump your cursor from one place to another. For PM and AM, you have to press down arrow key. Now in the AM, click OK. You will find here the date and time gets changed as our date and time is changed. Correct. So that's why I have not changed. Okay. So now this was your introduction. Now coming to something more related to the screen saver part, like the go to personalize screen saver. What do you mean by screen saver? So whenever your screen is idle or you're not working on your computer, you will find some attractive screen coming, pictures coming, or anyone writing your company's name, which will reflect after some period. Say whatever the timing is set on a screen saver. I'll show you. Just click on screen saver here. screen saver settings here it is here the screen saver setting is non so here there are the option given over here 3d text is there here you can see on this window 7 it is written now suppose if i want to change this we can click on settings this is custom text and if i want to change the text can change the fonts also regular bold public key go 
door locked. Here there's another door locked. Which pawns do we require? We can change the pawns also. Okay, and here is the motion. The rotation types are spin, seesaw, mobile, number. So there are one, two, three, four, four types of rotations are given. First we'll take a spin. Click OK. Now what are the timing given over here? When it should appear? It should appear after one minute. Okay, now just we'll take a preview look. This is your preview. If your screen is idle, so after one minute you will see that I will click on apply. My recommendation to you is all this screen saver, wallpaper, whatever we are operating. Now coming to the main point. We are operating, it will occupy your memory and it may make your computer slow down also. So always keep non over here. Just apply and say OK. The screen saver is an attractive screen for your audience. Whoever comes in front of your desktop uh, uh, line. So to make your screen attractive, that's why the screen saver is given by Windows operating system. Okay, otherwise in your practical life it is of no use. Saver. It is an attractive thing which are given over here on the windows, but it is necessary to teach you this desktop background, green saver, changing colors, same way over here, changing colors if you want to change the colors of the desktop, you can change the colors of the So I think that you might, you should not touch the default whatever has been set on windows operating system. Down, which will make you down. Down. Okay. So there are few buttons over here. You know, desktop now Changing your desktop icons. Let's learn. Now these are your desktop icons, and some of the icons are there. Which icons can we change? This. Now you are seeing what is the with this desktop icon. So your computer, user files, control panel, recycle, network, all these are displayed on the so recycle control. If I tick, remove the stick mark and apply and OK, it will disappear. So make it disable the icons of my computer. If you want again, you have to install. So you right click, personalize, change desktop icon, click again my computer, username, network, whichever the desktop icon will be required. Apply. As soon as you apply, the command get activated and you will find icons coming on your desktop. For this computer, if you want to change your icon, you can change the icon, the various icons. This is my computer, you want this icon, you can see that the icon is changed. Again, if you click here, change desktop icon, click on computer, restore default one, apply. This is how you can change the default icon. Okay. So this is how we change our desktop icons. Okay. So now we personalize. I'll teach you how to change the mouse pointer as I told you in your theory part that the mouse contains two buttons one is right button one is left button so if you are righty you will use 
left click button and if you left D you click right click button and in between there is a scroll button now so this is a scroll button which I am using it I'm scroll down scroll okay so changing the mouse pointer now suppose if I will click here I can see the button so here there is a button configuration switch primary and secondary button so see here this is your left button this is your right button that means so if I am left T I need a right button to be operated because I have to keep my mouse on towards the left side and I it is more comfortable to click right side for me. So I have to swap the button. So I have to click here and you will identify the mark over here that the right side is selected. But it is not activated yet. So what you need to do you have to apply See now it is not going to apply now which button I am clicking is your right button so as soon as I click on to the right it is activated now now I am clicking the right button and your left button will become your shortcut button this way that. now this is the right button which I am clicking again if I want to go same process now instead of clicking the right click I am clicking here left click personalize is for again right click then I will go in mouse pointer and click in button and again I want left I will click here you will see that the button is changed and I will click apply command is activated apply command means it is the command is activated and now you can operate the left button as I am writing so left button is more comfortable for me to operate the mouse this is the double, uh, double click speed I suppose if you are fast enough selecting your mouse like suppose so you can keep fast also you can keep medium so keep in between keep your mouse pointer this mark in between this is to open double click here this is the speed of double clicking these are the pointers how your pointer looks like like my pointer looks like white here so novel select and select this is the pointer icon. This is the speed mentioned over here. Like uh, I will select one. Seven. See the black pointer coming here. Okay, this apply. You see that the icon, the mouse pointer is changed. Pointer. Again, if you want to come back to the original position, you can apply and come back to the original position. This is the pointer, the attractive pointer if we want, we can make it. How your mouse will look like when it is in process. This is pointer option. This is the speed acceleration which is the fault of moving the mouse like you can click here. See that the mouse is moving fast. Keep in between. Keep medium one. Now what is the meaning of this? Swap to. Suppose for example if you click here, automatic move mouse pointer default button in a dialog box now suppose for example if I click here screen saver you will find a dialog box coming onto the screen and you will see that the mouse will directly jump onto that button see ok button that means you have to press ok button now suppose if it is not selected here for example 
and now if I suppose click here now can you see this mouse pointer onto the OK button no right so what I have to take mouse over there and I have to click OK or cancel or whatever it is suppose I will repeat this again I will apply it and show you again any of the dialog box this again. Example also is given. So automatically moves mouse pointer to the default button in the dialog box. So this that was for your dialog box. So that now uh, like a tail. Now this option whenever you are typing a mouse will hide. you are typing your mouse will hide and this option if it is clicked here show location of the pointer when I press the control key now suppose my mouse I don't know where my mouse is I don't know now if I press my control button it will indicate see here the right side will indicate that my mouse is on the right side if I click the control button from the keyboard was how to change the mouse pointer button this is mouse option and these are the default settings of windows which are given so don't worry about this no need to change it so only the main important part is to swap your button from left to right right to left okay so whenever here uh, this option is whenever we are typing the mouse pointer is get high okay so here I will end with the session of this introduction of windows operating system where we have covered desktop background screen saver changing mouse pointers your uh, desktop icons changing the desktop icons all these things we have done we have done the taskbar taskbar contains your start menu quick launch and the system tray how to change the date and time so in today's session of the desktop I will end this session thank you very much